Um, that performance, I know you played midweek in Thailand and I, I put it down to fatigue. You look very flat, very tired. Was it fatigue or was it something else? Uh, look, it was probably more mental fatigue than, than physical fatigue. Uh, I think, you know, especially in the second half, the way that we defended, uh, we made very simple mistakes, not marking opponents, turning the ball over, giving the ball over in, in a very uh, dangerous uh, positions on the field. Um, and, and I would say it's, it's not uh, physical, I think it's more mental. But, you know, you expect them to get through it and uh, make the right decisions at that, that moment of the game. Especially, you know, we had some younger players coming on and they should not be too tired uh, from a physical point of view. But as I said, mentally, it was a tough trip. Uh, tough conditions in, in Thailand and then a long trip back. But, uh, you know, our medical staff did everything they, they could. Unfortunately, we couldn't get everyone ready for the game tonight. But uh, I think what we had should be able to compete uh, against Adelaide here tonight. But, you know, maybe if we scored a goal from a penalty, maybe it would be a different ball game uh, from then on. But, uh, you know, it, it just looked like everything is against us. And I think that's where maybe you saw that um, body language that, you know, some of them gave up. How do you turn it around? Ah, look, it's it's another short turnaround, only two training sessions before our next game on Friday. Uh, so there's not much that we can tactically change. We can just, uh, you know, hopefully that we're going to get a few players back uh, that didn't play tonight. And uh, it's going to be a tough game. Sydney is a good team, you know, and we need to do our best to get a positive result next Friday. Right, how do you feel... It's a relatively new team from last year. There's a lot of change in the team. Do you feel like it's actually going to take a little bit of time to, to turn results like this around and, and get the team playing like it was last year? Uh, look, uh, uh, I think at, at the moment we, we played good football even tonight, you know, but uh, unfortunately we just didn't create enough chances um, and uh, our defending was nowhere near good enough. Um, it, it will definitely take a little bit more time you know, we had, uh, I think, only three players in the starting 11 from last season. Uh, you know, you can't draw any conclusions uh, from last year to this year because obviously it's, it's completely different, different uh, bunch of players. But, uh, you know, we are working hard and hopefully very soon we're going to uh, perform better uh, and uh, get better result. Like, uh, you know, we are quite successful in the Champions League. Uh, we just need to get that success back to, to the A-League. Is it all about your defensive errors or do you think Adelaide were just on a different planet sometimes uh, tonight? When you make mistakes, then yeah, opponents looks like they're on a different planet. But, you know, the first goal was from a different planet, uh, 100%. That was just unstoppable. Um, uh, the boy is very talented, you know, caused problem all, all night and, uh, you know, great talent. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think we had talent as well uh, on the field that maybe we did not showcase our talent enough. Uh, and that's, that's, that was our problem, maybe. Um, and rather, you mentioned the mental, I guess, fatigue of your team. Also, it doesn't really help, though, giving a team that young on top of its game momentum as well, because then it's hard to stop, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, exactly what I said is uh, uh, potentially that the penalty could have turned the game into, you know, a little bit more in our favour. Uh, but, uh, you know, that miss gave them even even more wind in their back. And, uh, you know, but, you know, if you defend so poorly inside of your penalty box and you're not marking the opponents, you're not blocking the shots, then you are asking for trouble. And that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And um, Melbourne City has been one of the top teams in this competition for years. But this precedes your time as well. There have been a few struggles against Adelaide United, not beating the Reds in a couple of seasons in 90-minute games and City not winning at high March since 2018. Do you think it's something about how United plays or do you just put that down to, I guess, City, not, things not going their way when the fixtures come around? 
Uh, look, I can't speak for the past. Uh, I can speak for, for my three games that I played against Adelaide as a city coach. Uh, yeah, first game in, in Melbourne, I think it was three all draw. We, we really dominated, we should have won that game. We considered two silly goals at the beginning. Um, last season when we played here, 4-2, uh, I think we were in the game. Uh, we, we, we just, again, defending poorly. Um, and uh, Craig Goodwin had a superb game that, that night. Uh, and then today, you know, at the end of our road trip, maybe it's the opponent that we really didn't want to play against tonight, but, you know, what can you do that the draw has been not fav favour for us? But, uh, you know, I think uh, they fully deserved their victory tonight. Just, right, last three A-League games, and I know last year's a different team, like you say, but you've conceded six goals in two of them, um, and you've put it down defensive errors. Is there anything else, do you think, a play maybe with tactics, system, or, or anything like that? Uh, well, yes, of course, uh, we can work more on defending, but, uh, you know, you, you've got players that are good enough uh, uh, on Wednesday. Defensively, we were fantastic on Wednesday uh, against a very, very good team in a tough condition, and then today we are not. So I don't think it's, uh, it's something that, you know, it's related to tactics. It's just, uh, uh, you know, mindset or, or mental readiness that wasn't there tonight. Uh, that was there uh, last uh, game before. Uh, and, uh, you know, we will just we'll keep working. And as I said, we are going through pain now, but uh, we're going to get out of it and we're going to be in a, in a good place very soon. And Rada, yeah, just finally, you mentioned how it's been a long week with all these games, and you mentioned how Adelaide was a team you really didn't want to play this week. What makes Adelaide such a tough team to play at an end of a week-long run like this? Uh, look, Adelaide is very uh, counter-attacking team, and uh, they are very fast. They are very direct. They got great dribblers. Uh, they take risk with the ball. Uh, and, uh, you know, although we had a plan how to uh, play against that, uh, unfortunately, we just didn't follow that plan. So, you know, we allowed them to play their game at the best. And, uh, you know, but the game is about phases. You know, you, you attack and then you defend and then there's a transition moments. And if, if you don't get all of those moments right, then, uh, you know, you lose the game, but uh, you know to lose with this margin is just—it's it's not pleasant. It's not enjoyable. Uh, and now, now players are hurting, and you know they'll do everything they can to get it right next week.